Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jared. Today we are going to be going through this uh, little sketchbook here. Um, let's get started with the cover. Um, all four of these stickers are mine. And then this one here um, is by an artist online somewhere. Um, my sister got the, got the stickers for me and I left the sticker sheet up at my house. Um, I'm at college right now. So when I go back, I'll have to get the sticker sheet and then I'll pin a comment down below with the artist's name if you're interested in getting a mini or sticker. Uh, these two here were actually experiments. They're kind of peeling if you look at them, but that's because um, I didn't set my printer to the correct uh, weight of paper so the toner didn't fuse properly with the paper so it kind of peels off. So I just decided to use these two. Um, they were my trial run stickers. I just decided to use them here. And I put the backpack on here because I thought it was cute. Okay, so let's get started. Um, here's the first page. This one took me quite a while. Um, I actually started a different one and then gave up on it and then started another one and gave up on that one and then started this one. So this one took quite a while, as you can see here. It's from December 31st, 2019 to July 13th, 2020. Um, so here is our first page. Um, just a bunch of random sketches. Uh, here's a Bolton. He's kind of hard to see because of everything behind him. Um, Tom Nook telling us to buy his crap. Um, this was before Animal Crossing came out. That was, that seems like that was a long time ago. Um, here's a little Ice Q, because I love Ice Q. And here is a My Hero Academia character that does not get enough attention. His name is Manga. There you go. Um, over here we have the knight from um, Hollow Knight. I am really bad at that game, but I do like the art style and everything, and I like the character design, so here we have the knight. Um, with these pages, um, I'm following in the footsteps of another uh, popular YouTuber, um, Echo Gillette. Um, she likes to do double-sided pages, like double-sided spreads and stuff, but she doesn't like that stuff like shows through, so you can see it's kind of like ghosting through there. Um, so I just decided I would do double-sided spreads and skip every other page. But I did glue one thing here. This is a little... Uh, I traced around one of those little plastic spiders and then turned it into a butterfly. And then I put this flower here and it says pollinate because that's what flowers do. Well actually that's what the bees do but the flowers want to be pollinated I guess. Um, I was still really excited for Animal Crossing and my sister invited me to go to this like little get together thing that they have in one of the cities near us where you get together and you draw. So I went with her to that and I drew my Animal Crossing villager from New Leaf because I was still really excited for uh, the release of New Horizons. Um, over here, I think I got a blue, I got blue pencil lead from the art store that um, was in the town where we went to get together. Um, and I ended up uh, just kind of doodling with that here. Um, here we have some more random doodles of people. I was kind of trying to figure things out here. Um, like a trapezoid for the upper torso and then a pentagon um, for the hips and everything. Um, and then I did some eyes and stuff. 
Um, over here, we have uh, Mikun from um, How to Keep a Mummy. If you have not seen that, that is on Crunchyroll, and it is very cute, so I definitely recommend it. And then, continuing with the excitement um, for Animal Crossing, I think... Yeah, I think this was after it had come off, come out. Um, Bam was one of the starting villagers on my island. And I think he's really cool. So I went ahead and I drew Bam. And then I drew Molly. Molly uh, was my favorite villager in New Leaf. And I had her for a long time on there. Um, and I do actually, I have her in New Horizons now. Um, I love Molly. Um, here's Lucky. I also have Lucky in my town. He's really nice. He's really cute. He's, he's Lucky. There you go. Um, and then, finally, we have Apollo. Um, I have Apollo in Pocket Camp. I've always wanted him in, um, one of the console games, but I haven't gotten him. Um, here we have some little design ideas for when I was trying to come up with a new um, profile picture for myself. Uh, this was a sad one. Um, I was up really late at night, one night, I was drawing Spyro and everything was going great. And I was like, this is looking good, and then I forgot his wings. So he's not a dragon, he's just a big lizard. <laughs> um... Here we have some random pose, poses from Pinterest. Um, just kind of practicing drawing just the poses in general. Um, here Mermaid started and I was on the phone with my sister and we were drawing and I didn't know what to draw so she said draw a bunch of mermaids. So uh I took it upon myself to take inanimate objects and turn them into mermaids because I thought it was funny. So here are all of the <laughs> all of the stinking mermaids in their glory. Um, there are a lot on this side. I don't know which ones are my favorite. It's probably between the Switch and the uh, the iPhone. <laughs> oh, and um, I'm sorry to everyone. I, I made that joke because my sister has an iPhone. Uh, nothing against the iPhone. I have an iPad, so, you know. <laughs> um, here we have some hands. I was just maneuvering my hand in the different poses and gestures and stuff and drawing it and then I got tired so I decided I was done and I think I had I had done all of these and all of the mermaids while I was sitting there or something like that um, and then over here um, I drew some neopets I think this is a Uixi and I don't remember what these things are called but I decided I wanted to make it cute by making it sleep. So there he is sleeping on a branch. And then down here, I decided to draw some more little objects and give them faces because I thought that was cute before. Um, but this time I didn't give them mermaid tails because I did a, a lot of mermaids over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving right along, I decided to draw some faces. Uh, I think I was specifically doing this just to work on hair, because I'm not good at hair. So, I tried it like that, and didn't like it, and just went back to normal, kind of cartoony, anime-style hair again. And I put here, I said Lieutenant Surge, because, I don't know, I thought it looked kind of like him. Um, 
not intentionally in any way, shape, or form. I just thought it was weird that it kind of turned out that way. Then over here, I don't know, I must have had a package coming in the mail or something, and I was excited about it because uh, I was making a bunch of little mail items, like there's a mail bag, a letter, front back of a letter, you know, boxes, envelopes, a scale, stuff like that. Uh, next up here we have a bunch of little animals from the garden or little insects and stuff. And then my personal favorite page of the book. Here we have Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, and I didn't have a very good selection of markers, so um, his hair is actually done in colored pencils. And then um, all the large areas down here are done in marker, and then all of the um, shading and everything is done in um, colored pencil. Um, here we have um, some people, and then Oh, I remember. I was, I was uh, watching, um, or listening to a D and D campaign that my friends were doing, um, and there was like a fire, and my super intelligent um, solution to the to the fire was just to throw dirt at it, and then my even more intelligent idea for the fire was the building was on fire so I said um, I know this isn't possible at all but I was just coming up with dumb ideas dumb solutions to the dumb problems um, I was like you should take the entire building and dig a hole next to it and push the building in the hole and put all of the dirt from the hole back in on top of the building and suffocate the fire and it'll go out and then I drew a bunch of eyes because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Um, pay no attention to the thing that I'm covering with my finger currently. Um, this is Dipper. He was a uh, a joke character, kind of, um, that my friend and I came up with for one of uh, her D&D &D campaigns. So, uh, he is a kobold merchant an NPC uh, that is made entirely out of flex seal and the only thing he sells well all all that he sells he originally only sold flex seal but now he only sells things that are related to flex seal so yeah there you go he's a he's a he's a funny character um, here we have some 60 second line of action poses. Uh, that's a nice website to go to. Um, as you can see, I was panicking and trying my very best to actually make things look like something. Um, and I was doing okay, I guess, kind of. It's not bad, I guess. <laughs> um, Here's Dipper again. Um, he sells a bunch of different buckets, so I decided it would be funny if he just lived inside of one. Like, he cut a hole in the side of it, and he attached a door to it, and he said, That's my house. He painted his name on the side so people would know that's his house. Um, and because he's a stinking Flex Seal Cobalt, I decided that he could just kind of morph down into a puddle and scare people because I thought that was funny um, and he's also basically an infinite void so he can store whatever he wants in him in himself the uh, the great thing about not actually having a D&D &D character and playing an NPC because I'm not dedicated enough to make an actual D&D &D character is that I can just come up with really stupid ideas and if I can convince the DM that it's a good idea uh, it can happen <laughs> um, 
here is a one of these pages um, I do these a lot in these books uh, every once in a while at least they're just kind of fun and uh, stress relieving I think uh, Mira Byler here on YouTube I think I've seen her do something like this before and I think I watched her do it and I was like that looks like a fun idea so um, here we are very geometric and very flowy and loose over here um, here's another page a um, couple of people a cute little lizard thing and then this is a dragon I actually ended up making a uh, an actual digital art piece of this and I changed the colors around because I didn't really like these colors and then I stinking love Bolton so here are a couple of little Boltons because Bolton is a good Pokemon a great Pokemon so yeah there he is uh, there he is chasing after some food and then there's Yama another one of my favorites uh, Bolton and Yama are my absolute favorites um, Yama wasn't in Sword and Shield, but he's going to be back in um, those Diamond and Pearl remakes. I know it. <laughs> we all know they're working on Diamond and Pearl remakes. Um, here I was uh, watching another stream on Twitch. And um, my place, a song from... Um, <laughs> A song from Animal Crossing came on. That is one of my favorite KK Slider songs in the game. Um, and the streamer didn't recognize it when it came on, so I, I was I was I was disappointed by that. Um, and then we have me just I think I just threw down some kind of pose just really quickly because because why not? I, I think think that hands backwards but um, we'll just not say anything about that um, and then oh yes this is we're almost at the end now this is the last page before the actual ending page um, as you can see I was just trying to get it done and over with um, random person it's actually kind of fun shading with the pen actually uh, a goldfish, um, a sphere, some drawing supplies, a book. This was actually really fun to uh, to do. Books are kind of, they're easy and kind of fun to do. Um, and then we have Link and Zelda from Breath of the Wild. And I tried to do the, the Blood Moon just because I had the red pen and I was like, oh, the Blood Moon is red. Maybe I could try lightly shading in different areas to kind of get it to look like the actual moon from the game um, and then there's the final page um, kind of just a repeat of this first page I know I watched some sketchbook tours where people do repeats of the first page on the last page so yeah there you go I finished it on July 13th um, and then there if you're interested this is a barren fig book um, they come in packs of three and they're not actually all that bad they're pretty nice so yeah uh, thank you for watching um, like and subscribe if you'd like and I will see you in another video bye bye